Welcome back. The Parliamentary Committee on Health has poked holes into the transition process from the National Health Insurance Fund to the new Social Health Authority. The committee claims that the entire process lacks transparency and that there are legal gaps in the process. The Robert Pukosa Committee also questioned the safety of users and service providers' data during the transition process that seems to be shrouded in secrecy. Gloria Milimu has a story. The government's new health plan has yet again come under sharp criticism. This time round, of alleged discrepancies in its transition process from the National Health Insurance Fund to Social Health Authority that repealed NHIF. <laughs> Principal Secretary Harry Kim Tai, alongside officials from the authority, were at pains to explain the status of the ICT system upgrade and developers of the software that will host the users and suppliers' data. The Minister of Health commenced the procurement of the digital health superhighway that is designed to automate the entire healthcare ecosystem from registration, healthcare and panelment, healthcare service provision up to dis uh, drugs distribution. This procurement of this integrated system, who, who is the provider? When was it issued? Where is the tender document? What is the cost? And this we've asked so many times. Can we get these details today? I've seen that this system will also do claims management. In the law, there was a very important issue about claims being outsourced. If it's outsourced, may. will may. may, may, yeah, may. And may still allows me to say if. So if, <laughs> yeah, if it is outsourced, will it still use this system, will whoever it is outsourced still use this system? And what is envisioned is this system will automate most of the claim. Now, there might be some specific scenarios or specific areas where the claims will also need to be rejected or re-looked at uh, by an expert, and that is where the may will come in. According to the Ministry of Health, the new system that will be integrated with the Digital Health Superhighway will provide member services, healthcare empanelment, pre-authorization and claims management. All personal and institutional data is encrypted and only decrypted or news upon provisions of the content from the data subject. NHIF and SHA are the registered data controllers with the Office of the Data Protection Commission. The legislators also raised concerns regarding the human resource transition that revealed lack of human resource structures under the new authority, forcing the current staff to work on an interim basis. The human resource transition is a process which is still is still ongoing, and in the in, uh, in originally this was uh, given as a mandate, one of the mandates of the transition committee, and we are awaiting the full report of the transition committee, which includes an employee transition advisory which is going to come to us by the 8th of August. But in general, we are still going to be in compliance, in full compliance with the law in terms of giving current NHIF staff priority when it comes to onboarding them onto the Social Health Authority. So far, 464,263 Kenyans have registered with the Social Health Authority as of 30th July 2024. Gloria Milimu, KTN News. Prime Cabinet Secretary and CS for Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Affairs, Musali Mudavadi, says 